Welcome to Seeing Dead People, the mystery storytelling podcast with a clairvoyant twist. We end every episode with Darcy answering a question from a listener about her psychic process. Okay, well then let's ask our listener's question as we're heading home out of the cemetery. What, if I may ask, if I was someone who was interested in having a session with you, a reading as it is known, what do I need to do? How do I go about it? And what happens during one? Okay, so uh, you'd go to the website and you would pick a date and time and you pay there and then we get a message. And once we have the message, then Ashley makes sure that I'm on top of everything. And you get a recall that tells you your readings tomorrow, sort of. So write a reminder. A reminder. Yep. So when I do the reading, basically I tape it so that you have a copy. And it's normally only a voice copy. Yeah, that's good. Even if I only, if I use Zoom, Mm -hmm. unless you really ask, I want the whole thing. Right. um, You get the voice. Yeah. Or you get it through Ferret. And I just do the reading. I knit. Sometimes (laughs) while I'm doing the reading, I will pull a card or two. Um, From what deck? Whichever deck tells me to use them. I have something like 200 decks. So. Uh, these are tarot cards, yeah. not regular card playing oh, no, cards. Sometimes I've used oh, a pair, of, a pair yeah. of glasses on the grave. I've used regular cards. Oh, okay. If, if sometimes I go out of the house and say I'm over visiting someone and I forget to bring a deck with me, so um, I either grab a playing deck of cards and pull a card while I'm talking because I know what some of them mean. Okay. Otherwise, what I do is I close my eyes and I see I shuffle the decks in my head oh cool pull out what card I need but are you cheating then are you pulling out the card you want no I'm pulling out the card that yells take me (laughs) is that what happens when you see a physical deck a card yells take me well no on a physical (laughs) deck normally I've shuffled the deck cut them so when I start the reading, it's like I've shuffled for you, I've cut for you. Okay. Um, because in person, you would shuffle the cards and cut. But with COVID, I don't do in person right anymore. And it's not just that. I'm here in Victoria, and most of my clientele is across the water. In what countries? Canada, the U.S., Mexico, uh, England. Wow. Afghanistan, Australia. Fantastic. uh, China and Japan. Wow. So so it just become easier to do the readings now. Interesting enough, if you're, say you're in Japan and you don't really speak English. Yeah. What I have you do is phone me, talk to me for 15 minutes, and then I do the, hang up and I do the reading. But how could I talk to you if I don't speak your language? They just have to talk. Oh, they just speak. Yeah. I so just, you hear their voice. I need the voice, the vibration of them. And then I do the reading and I type it all out. <laughs> That's cool. So when you tell somebody, I bet, are they a bit taken aback when you say, I don't care that I don't speak Japanese. I just want you to speak for 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. They must go, what are you talking about? They're, they're sort of a little taken back. <laughs> most people, <laughs> when I do a reading, are go, how do you know that? And I went, That's why you're paying me. That's exactly, that's why you're paying me. So how long is a reading, generally? It all depends. You can have half an hour, 45 minutes, or an hour. Oh, that's from a pay scale perspective. Okay. Yeah. And your website is, again? Uh, www.readingsbydarcyolllowercase.com. Is that all one word? Or is it all readings one word. dash no. by dash? All, all one, one word. word. Readingsbydarcy.com. Not yeah. .ca. Dot .com. Great. So people can do that. All right. Well, that's great. Listener's question. Thank you.
This has been a program of Radio Sydney.